Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So as promised, I am going to be doing a lot more personal fragrance content, um, reviews, roundups, you know, things like that. <laughs> Essentially perfume related videos. Um, this was something that I kind of became a little bit more interested in pursuing towards the end of last year. And because I like to use my YouTube channel for basically whatever floats my boat at the moment, um, this is what we're doing. So hope you guys will come along for the ride. <laughs> anyway, um, if you've been here for quite some time, you know that I am obsessed with home fragrance, right? Um, I have the same level of passion or obsession about personal fragrance as well. And it is something that I have been super interested in, curious about, obsessed about ever since I was a little girl. And so this year here on my channel, we're gonna be doing a lot more perfume reviews. I hope you guys are excited. In fact, I just got some stuff in. So I uh, ordered some more dossier fragrances to review for you guys. This is just a little heads up on some reviews that are gonna be coming down the pipeline here. Also recently picked up the Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar, which is a new fragrance from them, so we'll talk about that. Also picked up this Clean Reserve fragrance because when I was researching the Sparkling Sugar, this one was mentioned multiple times, um, and this is the Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar, so we have that one. And then I also picked up several smaller sizes of some Juliet Has a Gun fragrances. So I've got some perfume <laughs> to test out and review for you. So if you have any preference on any of these fragrances being first in terms of reviews, um, leave that down below in the comments and um, the winners uh, will get bumped up in the review process. But today, you guys, we are talking about a perfume that I'm really excited about. I also have a couple of dupe suggestions. They're not really dupes, but they are very similar types of fragrances. So in case you don't wanna blow um, $180 on this one, I have a couple of alternatives for you over here. Again, not exactly the same fragrance, but similar vein, and um, if you like this, you're probably gonna like those. So what are we talking about? Okay, this is a Mansara fragrance, and Mansara is a, um, it's a French perfume company. They're based out of Paris. I believe they are related to Montal, which is also a perfume company. Um, I think the two are sister companies. I haven't really researched how they're related. I just heard that they were. And Mansara is definitely a brand that I've heard quite a bit about. They have a reputation for having very um, powerful, <laughs> long lasting, um, good projection type fragrances. And so I was intrigued. Also, they are cruelty free. One thing that you should know about any of the perfume reviews that I'm going to offer here on my channel is they do have to come from cruelty free companies, at least, um, the company themselves. Like I I am personally okay with parent companies. I know some people aren't, but you kind of have to figure out what you're okay with when it comes to that. Um, I do have a lot of perfumes in my collection that are not cruelty free. I tend to get a lot of perfumes as gifts because if people know me and they're thinking of a gift to give me more times than not, it's probably a safe bet that if they give me a perfume that it'll be a good gift for me. And so I do have a lot in my collection that is not cruelty free. I do want to review some of those fragrances. Um, so I might still do that, but anything that I purchase for myself has to come from a cruelty free company. And all of these are, if you have suggestions for other companies that I need to try, um, leave those down below as well. But let's get back to holidays. First of all, I ordered this from the Mansara website. Um, this is a, quite a spendy fragrance. Um, it is a four ounce size, so it is substantial, and the packaging is absolutely stunning. We'll talk about that in a second. This retails for $180, so I know, just pick your jaw up off the floor. <laughs> this is definitely one of the spendiest fragrances that I have splurged on as of late. 
but I've heard really good things. So um, the packaging I was quite impressed with comes in a beautiful gold, it's like it's almost like a gold lame type box. Gorgeous, right? Like amazing packaging. Your fragrance also comes with its own pouch. So for $180, I guess you also get a pouch. Um, it's kind of nice to have this, especially if you are not able to store your fragrances in an area where they are not exposed to, um, you know, light. <laughs> you you sh really should keep your perfumes in a dark, kind of cooler place. I, for example, store mine in our master closet. Um, that particular closet does have a heating vent in it. And so during the summer, um, the AC is on. During the winter, the heat is on. And it's like a constant 67 degrees. That's the temperature we keep our house at. And um, so there's no huge fluctuations. I don't really need this bag, but if you are not able to find a storage area that is dark and cool, this might be a good thing to keep on hand. You can, it's just like a little drawstring bag. So that'll at least keep the light away from your fragrance. I think I'm gonna give this bag to Stella. I don't, I don't, I'm sure she's gonna find something to do with it. I'm sure she'll put some tchotchkes in it, but I, I don't need this. It's a very heavy glass bottle, you guys. Um, this is very substantial and weighty. Um, the lid is um, nice and heavy as well. It has their little emblem there at the top, if you can see that. And it is um, magnetized, so it just kind of goes on. I don't know that that's like a bonus for a lot of people, but I think it's kind of neat. Um, just th the presentation of this whole situation is really quite nice. So. Here is the label, um, very, very pretty. The one thing that I noticed about the Mansara perfume, like just the liquid itself when I first got this was I really noticed that like it almost looks like the liquid has, like it looks thicker. So here's one of my like normal perfumes and it just, uh, most of my perfumes look very watery to me. This one, I feel like these probably have a very high concentration of fragrance oils. Um, you can almost see the oils floating around within the perfume. Um, so you definitely are getting a good quality product here, I feel like. Um, the liquid is just, it's kind of like a light amber color. Very pretty. Again, I think the packaging is stunning. Um, but let's talk about the fragrance, you guys. Oh, ugh. This smells so good. Now this is not the type of fragrance that I normally wear this time of year. So this is a very beachy, um, out, outdoorsy as in like on an actual beach kind of scent. Um, it definitely gives me like summer vacation vibes. It gives me slight sunscreen vibes. <laughs> It definitely screams uh, like I want to go take a tropical vacation. I am not personally a tropical vacation kind of person, but I do appreciate the fragrances available at tropical location places. Um, this would have been the perfect fragrance, for example, for me to take to Hawaii this past December when we went. This would have been absolutely perfect. Just such a great beachy scent. Um, let's go ahead and read through the fragrance notes. I'm going to tell you guys what comes across the most to me. And then we'll also talk about the projection. We'll talk about the lasting power, that kind of stuff. Um, and then I'll tell you some other fragrances that I'm thinking about picking up. Um, because these guys have some amazing vanillas. I am a sucker for the vanilla fragrances. So I might need to hit them up for a few of those. All right. So the fragrance notes for holidays, the head notes are, or the, I guess, top notes, if you will. Usually I refer to them as top notes, but the head notes are sparkling bergamot and coconut. Your heart notes or your middle notes are the tiare flower, ylang ylang, and um, steams marine. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, your base notes are sandalwood, vanilla pods, and white musk. I this is one of those fragrances and occasionally I will come across these where I can smell almost every single note. And this one is one of those fragrances. I literally smell, I smell the bergamot. 
I smell the coconut. I get the tiare flower. I get the ylang ylang. I'm not sure I'm getting steams marine, but I do get, like I mentioned, that like salty, beachy, ocean air type vibe. You're getting sandalwood in here. That's, it's super evident, especially as the perfume dries down just a little bit. The vanilla, ooh, you guys, it really does smell like you are just cutting open a fresh vanilla bean pod and scraping out the little vanilla beans on the inside. It is that pure, heavenly, rich, beautiful vanilla. Oh, it's so good. And then your musk, your white musk. There is a very clean, light um, muskiness to this that just kind of, I feel like, brings everything together in the fragrance. This is so delightful, you guys. It is, it's got some florals, it's got some beachy vibes, it's got some of that like coconut in there and the vanilla, and then you have your musky scents, you have your sandalwood in there, it, ugh, it's so good. Honestly, I cannot give this particular fragrance enough thumbs up. As far as the fragrance itself, it is chef's kiss, absolute perfection. I don't think there's a thing that I would change about it. I I love this. And bonus is that it um, pairs really well with my personal body chemistry. So I absolutely think this one is so, so good. Another thing I appreciate about the bottle is that there is a really nice mist that comes out. Um, and you will notice when you spray these Mancera fragrances, you almost see a slight oily sheen on your skin um, and you can feel like a little bit of like an oiliness. So this is not the type of fragrance that I would recommend spraying on your clothing, especially if you are wearing like a white silk blouse. If you are normally the type that just kind of does this with your perfume, I would be a little bit more intentional with the placement of this onto your skin versus your clothing, especially light colored clothing, because I do think that this could potentially stain um, certain types of clothes. So do be careful with that. Um, but in terms of the projection and the wear, you guys, this one is quite powerful. I think this is one of the longest lasting fragrances that I currently have in my collection. And I have a few that last a good long while on me, but this one seems to last for hours. I do not find myself needing to reapply this every like four hours. I am finding that even after like six, seven hours, I can still smell this fragrance. And when I work out in the evening, it almost sort of reactivates as my body temperature rises from, you know, exercising, which is really hard when you haven't done it in a long time. But like, I can totally smell the fragrance sort of reactivating and wafting up. And that it's rare that I have a perfume that does that. And I have a lot of kind of spendy perfumes in my collection and very few of them do that. This bad boy, oh, she does. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, if you are at all intrigued by the fragrance notes here, I would say everything about this has been like top tier experience. Like I have no complaints about the fragrance. I have no complaints about the performance, the wear, all of it is just fantastic. Um, if you are looking for a couple of similar fragrances, now these are going to be from Dossier, which is a dupe company. Um, I have two that I think share a very similar vibe, and I've mentioned these multiple times on my channel in the past. Um, aquatic Coconut and Floriental Coconut. And so the Aquatic Coconut, I believe, is a dupe for the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Um, I'm pretty sure that that's what this is a dupe for. Um, the notes in here are... The top notes are bergamot, pink pepper, lemon, and aquatic accord. Your middle notes are ylang ylang, heliotrope flower, and coconut. Um, your base notes are musk, cedarwood, benzoin, and tonka bean. So you can see how the notes kind of are somewhat similar to the holidays from Mancera. Definitely worth checking out. Beautiful, good wear time on this one. I have really great luck with the Dossier fragrances. Um, if you have never tried them, this would be a great place to start if you're looking for a beachy type of scent, for sure. Next we have 
This one here is called Floriental Coconut. And I think I'm fairly certain that this is a dupe for the Maison Margiela Beach Walk. I don't quote me on that. I believe that this <laughs> that's correct. Um, I will put the information in the description box down below. I will also put information on where to buy this. You don't have to buy this directly from Mansara. There are there are perfume discount websites that have this available for significantly less. However, I opted to go with Mansara to begin with only because I just kind of wanted to see what it was like to order from them. Um, and sometimes I wonder if the fragrances are always authentic, especially when it comes to the more expensive ones. I just, I'm just not 100% confident on that, but I will go ahead and list this at some discount fragrance websites as well. But anyway, the Floriental Coconut, your uh, fragrance notes for this one, the top notes are cardamom, uh, pistachio, and again, we have that bergamot. Your middle notes are ylang ylang, tuberose, and jasmine. Um, and your base notes are cedar, uh, amber, benzoin, and the coconut. This one is, I would say these two are maybe a little bit more similar. The aquatic coconut and the holidays are a little bit more sim similar. This one's slightly different. But they definitely share some similar notes, and so I think the overall vibe is going to probably be to your liking. Definitely worth checking out. Um, I will say with Dossier, you are not paying for fancy packaging, so this bottle, you know, much more simple, not quite as fancy. The label obviously is a little bit more simple. It actually lists the fragrance notes for you right on there. Um, with Dossier, you are paying for the actual like fragrance inside um, and that you don't have the expense of fancy bottles basically. So, um, but I actually really like the way that these bottles work. This, the, the spray is really nice. I don't know. I, I really enjoy Dossier fragrances, which is why I recently bought some more. Um, so anyway, you guys, there's a couple of less expensive options for you, but if you are looking for the Mansara holidays and you have thought about it for a long time, <laughs> I can totally recommend it. I think this is a fantastic one. They have some really great discovery sets, by the way. I just want to point these out for those of you that maybe want to try a few different um, things from Mansara. They have the option to order um, a men's discovery collection or a women's discovery collection. So you have several different fragrances in there. They also have this fantastic travel set. Now these travel ones are quite a bit bigger and um, I believe, yeah, these are sprays as well. Um, and yeah, so it is a set of five eight millimeter sprays and you choose your fragrance. So you literally p customize your five fragrances. And so there are several that I am super intrigued by. The um, black vanilla, the oud vanilla. They also have a roses vanilla. They have a royal vanilla, um, a vanilla exclusive, a velvet vanilla. They, I think I might just order some vanillas. <laughs> we'll review those as well. So that's probably coming. Uh, I'm thinking I might go ahead and place an order for those this coming summer. Um, I'm just really excited to try more from Mansara. So if you have a favorite Mansara fragrance, let me know uh, in the um, comments down below. If you have a suggestion for me, definitely put it down there. But um, I'm really impressed with what I picked up this first go around and I definitely want to try more from them. So anyway, you guys, let me know if you have any questions. Check out the description box for links to everything. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. See you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.